Well, to discuss the fallout of the case, I'm joined by the uh, Liberal Democrat MP for Manchester Withington, John Leach, and for the Labour MP for Rochdale, Simon Danchuk. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, Simon, do you condemn what Phil Willis did? I think we all agree that uh, you shouldn't lie in leaflets. I think it's as simple as that. I think you need to people need to campaign in, in elections, whether they're local, general or European, and they should tell the truth in leaflets. I think that's the message that comes from this today. So would you agree with Harriet Harman, who spoke on the Andrew Marr show today? And she basically said even if he wins his judicial review, Labour won't have him back. Well, I haven't seen what Harriet said today uh, on that particular show, but he's clearly been suspended. The party's acted very quickly in terms of acting straight after the ruling. He's been suspended and we need to move on and we certainly need to, all political parties need to learn uh, lessons from what's happened here because there's no doubt about it. I mean, nobody can take the moral high ground in terms of uh, leaflets of this kind. All political parties have produced leaflets that haven't told the truth on, on them. I think that's quite clear. But why was Labour still backing him to the end with their highly paid lawyers when all the dodgy emails, all, all the evidence had come out in the court and they still backed him and in fact Ed Miliband made him his spokesman on immigration? Well I think the case is that he's innocent until proven guilty but the lessons that we have to take forward on this is that you don't tell lies in leaflets, that's the key point to that. The Liberals shouldn't do it, Labour shouldn't do it, the Conservatives shouldn't do it and so what we need to do now is look to the future to see how we uh, deal with this sort of situation because there's no doubt about it. I mean, John himself has to admit that uh, in 2005 he produced a leaflet that said uh, Christie's Hospital was going to close. I have it in my pocket here. I think, I think you viewers should see it. And it said quite clearly that Christie's Hospital would close. And the truth is that Lab the Labour government, John, had no intention of ever closing Christie's Hospital. Well, let's bring John well, yeah, in on that. And perhaps he should apologise. Did you, did you apologize. lie in your leaflets? Um, I've never lied in my leaflets, and Simon's actually lying when he says what he's just said well, now. Well, the Labour and, government well, has never said it was going to close Christie's okay, Hospital. Uh, well, well, to be honest, neither did I say that. Well, it was there actually, it is. It was actually said by, Save Christie's it, Hospital. It was actually said by doctors at there the Christie. Um, that the, that the, uh, but what you should do, well, John, is well, apologise. Hang, hang on, hang gonna, on, Simon. If hang you're going to talk about cleaning up we, politics, we are here this is what we you are Let here. John just come in. We are here to talk about Phil Woolas lying and knowing that he was lying in leaflets to get re-elected. I did not lie back in 2005, and I'm, I've had many, many debates on this issue over a long period of time. But you the, should the, 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 the issue, the, No, I've got nothing to apologise, Simon. But this isn't and true. I, there was so, no Simon, intention. is Simon, there a but, difference well, between well, lying could, about could, campaigning well, and lying about somebody's own personality? Oh, well, and, I, th and I think that's a good point, because the Liberal Democrat that I fought in uh, Rochdale, the previous Member of Parliament, put out a leaflet that said, you have a choice in Rochdale, you can either vote for Paul Rowan, Rochdale born and bred, or you can vote for Simon Danchuk, Gordon Brown's man from Blackburn. Now the reality is, I have never ever lived in Blackburn. So what, that, that's personal, why would you put that out? I haven't challenged it legally or anything, have I? So why would you do that? So there is a difference, okay, I agree well, with you. Well, there is a difference okay, between if, personal if, and policy, if, if, I agree if we, with you. If we can actually get back onto the subject, which is about Phil Woolers. Phil well, it well it hang on, Simon, you've John, had, you, Simon, leaflets, Simon you've had your say. Okay, and I let think John it's about just time that I have my now. say. Phil Woolers was found to have lied about the personal conduct and, the, uh, and, and what uh, our candidate, Elwin, had uh, done and, about, and had made serious allegations about things that um, Elwin was involved with. And S Phil Woolers knew full well that he was telling lies. And fortunately for the people of Oldham East and Saddleworth, the two High Court judges looking at all the damning evidence have actually agreed uh, that Phil Woolas knew that he was lying and therefore has to be expelled from Parliament. There is a difference between a robust debate about the issues, and I'm quite happy to defend myself over what I've you said about the Christian... No, the I shouldn't okay, apologise. Let's, let's no. keep off something that happened well, in 2005. Do uh, you have any sympathy, though, for Phil Woolas and his campaigning team facing... Uh, defeat that they would pull out no, all the stops. I, I, to get I don't. I don't have any sympathy with Phil Wilson. Si si Simon, 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 you're but being incredibly but, but John, rude, and everyone because, is entitled because, to have their. Just okay, because well, legal Simon, action hasn't been taken Simon, against Simon, you about it. Simon, it doesn't mean it's Simon, not a lie. You, you, you've, had, you've had. You've had your say. But is there not differentiate between personal 
in okay. policy, because that's an important point. But you're not well, making that distinction there. You're well, basically well, saying that, that John policy. did the same as Phil yeah, Woods. That's right, and I'll give you an example. Do you believe them? You think that John Leach, what he did in that campaign leaflet, was as bad as oh, what th Phil Woods did? There is no doubt about it that, that John did this really? in an attempt to win the election, and it's wrong. <sighs> and if we're talking about but policy... But is that not but, just well, robust campaigning? Well, yes, of course it is. But I've given you the but example of... what Phil Woollis did was very, very different. I mean, and he, I mean he, he stirred up racial tensions in an area like Oldham, which has had so many problems about this sort of thing. And from Rochdale, you, you would sympathise, I imagine, with an area like this. It yes. does make Labour look quite in a difficult position to be here again as, a, as an MP when they have tried to stir up racial tensions in this area. I think area. we all agree that you should not lie in leaflets. Whatever the lie is, whether it's about Christie's Hospital, whether it's about tuition fees, that's the reality. John has been part of a party that's collectively colluded. Okay. Well, just let me make this. No, collectively no, hang, colluded hang on, to sell the this, public this is that they would get rid of tuition this is fees. Absolute, now that, now this is absolute in nonsense, Well, you should apologise for this that. Is absolute You're going to no, increase... No, Simon, Simon, stop by being, three times. Simon, stop being absolutely ridiculous. There is a difference. Well, why don't you apologise for that, John? Simon, can you stop? You gentlemen, I'm actually, stop I'm going to stop you. I'm going to move you on because I think we're getting totally off the point here. And I want to talk about actually this seat now <coughs> and the by-election. You can't be looking forward to a by-election here, John. The Liberal Democrats' um, popularity has fallen since the election, and. You, you know, you, you didn't win last time, so you can't be looking forward to a by-election. I'm absolutely looking forward to a by-election here, to fight on the issues, to fight on the, on the, the record um, of our local councillors in the area and the, the Liberal Democrats in Oldham working for the people of Oldham East and Saddleworth. And we're looking forward to fighting a good, clean campaign on okay. the issues. So good, clean campaigns. You've put out in the latest, latest leaflet that it's a two-horse race. It isn't, is it? Because the Conservatives absolutely it's a have well, a chance. No, that's right. No, it's a three-horse race. It's a two-horse race. And I'll tell you why it's a two-horse race. Is that if, if, sev if 104 Conservative voters had switched to the Liberal Democrats uh, in the election in May, the Liberal Democrats would have won and Elwyn Watkins would have won by one vote. Okay, the um, reality is that the Tories can't win in this constituency. It's clearly a straight fight between us and Labour and it will be a straight fight between us and Labour on the issues, okay. fighting on the issues and not making lies up Simon, about Simon, would you ever like to see Phil Willis back in the well, Labour Party the, well, sitting as an MP again? Just in terms of this by-election, this gives the people of this area a real opportunity to say what they think about what the Liberal Democrats have done since they came to power. Because It'll also the give public, them the opportunity absolutely. to say what Labour have done oh, abso this Absolutely. Campaign. But it's quite clear okay. that they're going to increase that. They said they wouldn't. OK, let's they've not get it. No, we can do that during the by-election campaign. Well, Would you? Phil, okay. will have to, Phil will take his judicial review forward, and that's what he's entitled to do. He's got he's the right to appeal. Would you like to see him as well, an MP again? There's, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. I believe, I believe that Phil is a very him. good member of You've parliament. Got members a of good the member Labour Party so still I, I defending okay. despite Gentlemen, what's been found in court. I'm going to have to stop you there. Thank you very, very much.